Hey everyone, um, I wanted to make this video for two reasons um, and I'm actually holding my phone because I think the lighting is better this way. That's how you can tell I feel well because I care about the lighting of my videos now. Um, I'm still not going to go into the process of editing because that's too much work. But I just wanted to come here for two reasons. One is a life update and the other one is that I just... I just want to say that I've been realizing and noticing that a lot of my cancer videos are actually now being viewed by cancer patients and that's making me so happy. Like a lot of the people who've been watching my videos and commenting under them lately are people who have been affected by PMBCL or lymphoma in general or their patients or their caregivers or their friends or whatever. It's just it's helping the people it was intended to help and I'm so happy because when I was making them, it was like, it had a twofold purpose. One was that I, you know, I, it was an outlet for me to let out my feelings and, you know, kind of just let everything I was bottling up out to the world. And the other reason was that I just wanted to show people that it's going to be really crappy for a while and then it's going to get better. And I think it makes it even better the fact that my course of the disease was atypical it wasn't your typical like in the end it probably will be but as of right now it's not it wasn't the initial six rounds scan you're in remission type thing which is what's the typical thing to happen for me it was six rounds of chemo then you got a scan which was inconclusive then you do a biopsy which was negative for cancer which was good then two more inconclusive scans so yeah, I had my scan, which is now the life update bit. I got my scan um, last Tuesday, and I got my results the next day. Basically, nothing changed from one scan to the next. Two months passed and nothing changed. Um, actually, there was, like, minimal change downwards, which is a good thing. But, you know, like, it wasn't enough change to declare anything, so the scan is stable. Um, I'm still a Duville score of four, but as you can see, I'm doing great. Look at this hair growth. It's actually amazing. But, yeah, I, I'm doing, I feel amazing. I feel great. I'm 80% back to my normal self, I want to say, by now. Um, I'm ready to go back to school. My doctors feel comfortable sending me back to school. So I'm going to go back to Ireland soon. I'll be back in December for my next follow-up. But yeah, so it's actually crazy that I'm finally going back to school. <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy that for all those months I was living at home and with my family and my parents and my sisters, and now I'm going back to Ireland to live by myself with my roommates. And I'm actually really excited. And yeah, this is why I was filming my videos. Because like the day of my diagnosis video, I was thinking in the back of my head. I was like, I can't wait for the day I'm going to post a video where I'm gaining back my life. And I think this is that video for me. So like, you know, you... You just have to have faith that it's all going to turn out okay. And that's like the most cliche thing to say, the dumbest thing to say. I never wanted people to tell me that when I was going through treatment because I felt like absolute poop. But like you get to the other side. You, The only way out is through. And like I'm a firm believer that if you endure all the bullshit, most of the time things are going to end up to be okay. And you know, I'm just, I'm just happy that five months out of chemotherapy, I am doing amazing and I feel great. And I just, I'm just so happy and blessed to be at the position I am today to be okay, you know? And with that, I also want to say that if you ever want to reach out to me, I'm going to leave my social media below so you can, because obviously like when I was going through with treatment and everything, I didn't want to reach out to people because I always felt like I'd be bothering them or like they wouldn't want to relive their experience by answering my questions but in retrospect having someone to talk to would have been amazing for me and for my mental health during treatment because my anxiety really peaked by the end of my chemo but um yeah you always have a near to listen in me and you know I will answer all your questions if I, if I know the answer um, I do a lot of research on my cancer, so I probably even know medical stuff, honestly. Um, and yeah, honestly, I am just 
happy, happy and grateful that my scan didn't show any change. Like, I was not, not even gonna lie, I was fearing that it would have been bad and it wasn't. So, yeah, I'm just really happy that everything's taken the course it has and I can actually go back to school. That's the biggest thing in claiming my life back for me, I think, going back to school. So, yeah. Um, I will update more as time goes on and I have more, like, you know, news on my life. Also, if you want to see more videos from me and, like, whatever videos they are, just let me know what videos you want to see from me and I'll film them. I just, like, I, I find myself, like, not having ideas or, like, just being having writer's block but like the video creator type of writer's block if that makes sense um but yeah life is good god is great and that is all see you later